Hi, I'm James, and today I'm taking a look at using Football Manager 2014 demo on touchscreen Windows 8 tablets, in this case the ASUS Transformer Book T100. As you can see here, I'm running the game windowed. Uh, this is because we have a number of sections like this, where what we need to do is use the on-screen keyboard to enter details here. I'm just changing my name over. Um, if you're running the game full screen then you don't have access to the on-screen keyboard and there are a number of stages where you can get stuck uh, and are unable to progress in the game without having some kind of input device other than the screen. So by doing this we get access to that and can avoid those issues. And as you can see we're just skipping through some of the steps here, setting things up. On the save game screen the keyboard obscures it but we can still enter the title. Um, you could make the screen smaller as well, um, but not ideal. Um, we can see here as well, we go through tapping on the screen works correctly um, and helps clear the messages. As we go into season, ex season expectation, clicking through here, and we can see here we want to scroll down the page. However, we can't just move pressing in the centre, we have to press the slightly awkward scroll bar on the right there. It's quite thin and sometimes it's easy to miss with the touch target, but you can do it. Um, moving on to the match now. And clicking through here on the team selection screen, again with the team with the touch screen we can drag players around in terms of position and we can also change our selections on the left hand side by moving the icons there so using the slider to scroll up and down and dragging the selection there Now if we progress into the match, you can see the game defaults to very low detail to uh, run correctly on the T100. Um, looks okay, not amazing obviously, but runs well. Uh, the game performs as you'd hope. I mean there aren't particularly high requirements for Football Manager 2014, but it does cope with the 3D match previews. Uh, and then here we're able to click into the, the selection screens, look at tactics issue instructions, um, the touch targets are a little on the small side on the 10 inch screen but you can get by with it with a bit of patience. And overall once you've moved to running windowed, making use of the on-screen keyboard, you can actually play this game quite effectively purely with the touch screen. Uh, I hope this video has been useful to you. Um, please check out our channel for other T100 and Windows 8 gaming related content. Thanks.